Hello, I am Melissa Gransard. My research is on fluorescent nuclear DNA staining, which can be used as a screening tool for hairs that may undergo forensic DNA profiling. The fluorescent staining solution I use is DAPI, which binds to the minor grooves of adamine thiamine rich regions of DNA. I tested different methods from previous researchers to determine which method is most efficient and most effective. The hairs from my research were collected by plucking or from natural shedding, such as a hairbrush, comb, or running your fingers through your hair. Before viewing the hairs under fluorescence, I categorized them based upon their three developmental stages. These stages are antigen, catagen, and telogen. Antigen, which is typically plucked hair, contains an abundance of soft tissue. The hair bulb can be asymmetric or extended. Catagen hair can come from natural shedding. It has some soft tissue and often has what I identified as a knob. Telogen hair is also from natural shedding. It has little or no soft tissue and sometimes a very faint knob. I tested four methods from three scientific journals to see which had the best staining outcome. Each staining solution had similar concentrations of DAPI and other components. The four methods involved incubating the hairs in DAPI for different periods of time. The incubation periods were for five minutes, overnight, one hour plus a one hour incubation in a wash solution, and direct staining. From these sets of methods, I concluded that method one gave the best overall picture when it came to visualization of the nuclei Another factor was that it was quick and simple to do. From my study, the number of nuclei per category varies. More specifically, antigen hairs have the most nuclei. The blue dots in the photos are the nuclei, while the lines may be some type of debris. I observed that antigen hairs have anywhere between 10 to more than 50 nuclei. Telogen hairs contain the least amount of nuclei, which was anywhere from 0 to 20, but in some cases more, as seen in the middle photo. Catagen hairs are a metal ground and contain anywhere from 0 to more than 50 nuclei. I completed the screening method, I selected hairs to be used for DNA profiling. From the electropherograms, I concluded that a minimum of about 500 picograms of DNA is required from the hair samples to yield a full profile, but low levels of DNA can still generate a partial profile. From this graph, 75% of antigen hairs generated full profiles, one-third of catagen hairs generated full profiles, and none of the telogen hairs generated a full profile. Discovering an effective screening method to determine which hairs might provide nuclear DNA genetic identity information will expand the possible range of evidence items suitable for DNA profiling. Staining the hairs with a DAPI staining solution allows for a quick and easy method to screen this type of evidence. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed.